What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a video all about salvaging or selling items in Diablo 3. And we're gonna talk about it in two phases, okay? The first one is gonna be levels one to 50, and then the other ones are gonna be 50 to 100, okay? Because both are very, very different um, throughout your leveling progression in Diablo 4. I said Diablo 3 earlier, didn't I? It's Diablo 4. But let's talk about just salvaging in general and then selling for money and what gold means and what salvaging means so when you have an item you find an item and it salvages for a certain amount of resources so when we go to the blacksmith you can come over here to salvage and you can do them by common items magic items rare items or all items when you do all items it's going to salvage everything but your legendaries you have to physically salvage those but when you do salvage you're going to be getting salvage materials which you guys are going to see here when i salvage this yellow you're gonna get these veiled crystals and these iron chunks. Now, the reason that salvaging items is so important is to upgrade gear and stuff, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. But you have these items that you're gonna need which help upgrade. Now, the second thing is, is well, what about selling? You're not gonna have them at the blacksmith. So selling items, we just sell to the vendors and it shows you the amount, like 18,000 for this helmet. Now, in the early stages of one to 50, in Diablo 4, gold does cost a lot. Respecking costs a lot. Um, upgrading gear costs a lot, as you guys can see here at the blacksmith when you go to upgrade an, an item. This just increases the more you upgrade, which is insane. Um, and then when, more importantly, when you're at the occultist and you're trying to respec an item and change a stat line, that is also gonna cost a crap ton of gold. So as you guys can see, I'll show you right now, cause I've respec a thousand times bringing builds for everybody. So if I was to take a point away, it cost me 30,000 gold per point to take away. So if I was to respec everything, refund all, it's gonna cost me 1.6 million gold to refund all my nodes. And the more I do this, the more it increases. So you're gonna have gold that you're gonna spend on that, as well as upgrading, adding sockets, all these things. So let's talk about one to what 50. So one to 50, the biggest thing that you can do is salvage everything because gold in those stages from one to 50 really isn't that important. You're going to gain a lot of gold over that time. You can see I have 12 million here and this is after respecking a bunch. I really should be like closer to like 80 million, but I've respect so many times. It's kind of insane. Uh, but in one to 50, like having gold is good but you're not going to be doing really anything with it like you may upgrade a couple items once or twice or something like that or imprinting maybe one aspect or a couple aspects because you need it for a particular build but even then that's not going to cost a whole lot for how much gold you're going to be gaining through the main storyline so the biggest recommendation is to salvage everything first okay you're going to have all these materials here and you're going to need all of these iron chunks these silver ores the scattered prisms to power level your character by upgrading everything okay you cannot do it without these materials and unless you're going to go around the open world collecting them the biggest and fastest way to get them is salvaging items now you can find a lot of these materials throughout the open world whether it's along the pass and you find an ore mine or you find uh, some bushes for some bite berry or something and you more importantly you're going to find a lot of stuff in the hell tides now after you hit 50, it's probably a good idea to maybe sell and get some stuff, but you're still going to need a lot of items. Me personally, I don't think you need to sell as much as what other people would want to, but if you are respecting, you're changing things, you're adding imprints and you're doing a lot of this stuff, then maybe gold is really important. But in the earlier stages, you need to stack as much resources as possible because these things are hard to come by and you burn through them like crazy. All right, now let's talk about 50 to 100. When you get to 50 to 100, hell tides are the most important thing to farm when it comes to resources to salvage because of forgotten souls. This is the place to find uh, forgotten souls, which you do to upgrade all of your sacred and ancestral and unique gear. This is gonna be absolutely insane. So you need to salvage everything. Now, once you get to a point where you, where you are like super stacked on resources, then maybe you can sell if you really need to start recrafting or re-rolling. Like if you get to your end build, you're in 85 plus like I am. I need gold more than any of this other stuff uh, when it comes to just respecking or like adding new stat priorities. But besides that, I don't need gold at all. I'd rather just salvage absolutely everything. So when you do get to the end game, you're gonna be absolutely stacked on resources. 
Now, once you have, like, if all my stuff was 3,800, um, just like my Veiled Crystals, I would definitely just sell absolutely everything. Now, when it comes to selling, you can see here that the normal rare items are 18, and then the sacred and ancestral items sell for a lot more. You can see this one sells for 86,000 gold. So it does add up quick if you're doing a lot of farming runs and you just need to get a lot of gold quickly. So maybe if you need to do that, I would sell to get gold. Otherwise, salvage absolutely everything because you're going to need it to upgrade your items. I'll give you a prime example here. You guys can see that when we level this gear up, you can see how much gold it actually costs. It doesn't cost a whole lot and the resources don't cost like it's the main resources here that just keep stacking and stacking and stacking. And you can see the gold really isn't that much. It's only 68,000 just to get it to max level. So it's really not that high. So I can all I can stress, guys, is that you salvage, salvage, salvage absolutely everything. Now let's talk about like the different levels of resources that we can get while salvaging. So, you, so iron or blue items, excuse me, blue items are going to give leather and rawhide and then some items are going to give some other things like build crystals and then we have legendary items that are going to give different um facts you can get multiple sacks like that one gave me four which is really good nice. um, and then let, let's look at different levels of items right so some of these are really really good and i don't want to get rid of them uh but what we can do uh, do i got two shreds here perfect so we'll get rid of this shreds and this is ancestral so you see we get the baleful fragments and then we have a astral or ancestral astral an ancestral unique gloves i hate these gloves these really don't do anything for me i have like five of them i think but we're going to salvage these two and you're going to see what we get we're going to get the same stuff as before so salvaging over time is just going to stack up all of your resources so i cannot stress this enough over getting money you're going to get money just farming the game farming dungeons doing strongholds turning in quests so i wouldn't worry too much about gold unless you're a respec maniac like i am for just builds otherwise absolutely salvage everything is going to save you so much time in the end game so guys if you have enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like comment down below what do you guys think selling or salvaging items in diablo 4 make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace